I'm gonna bet most of you guys are last minute shoppers just like me and then you're scrambling to get a gift three days before Christmas or even worse, the day before. I've done it, I know you guys have done it, especially guys who are notorious for last minute shopping, but never fear because I'm here to tell you guys about the top 10 designer fragrances that would make the perfect gift for any woman in your life. I'm gonna go through the list, so if you guys are interested to see the best fragrances to gift a woman in your life, just keep on watching. But before we get to the fragrances, I have another amazing gift idea for you guys. And it is this amazing arrangement of roses. Now you don't have to go all out like I did and get this gigantic one, they have smaller ones and this is from a brand called Rose Forever. They're a New York based company. They make these beautiful rose arrangements that are good for up to a year. It's real roses that are preserved in an oil solution. And then these gold ones, they're coated with the gold paint, but they have different colors that are dyed. They're amazing. They have smaller bouquets, not these massive ones. I realize this is a little extra. And now until December 10th, you guys can save $25 off any order if you use the code THESCENTED25. So take advantage of that because this would make an incredible holiday gift. I would take this sort of bouquet over a traditional rose bouquet any day because this will last you for a year and then you can reuse this box to store your perfumes. Now, without further ado, let's get into the actual list of my top 10 fragrances and stay tuned until the very end because I'm gonna tell you guys my personal favorite three that I would wanna receive as a gift that are just like my personal favorites of all of these. So the very first one, and I'm sure you guys know of this fragrance, this is Ariana Grande Cloud. And this does smell like Baccarat Rouge, not in the opening, but in the dry down, it does. It is coconutty, it's creamy, it's sweet. It's so pretty and so girly, and it does have that sort of intoxicating, sugary sweetness that Baccarat Rouge has. This is a little bit more coconutty. It is less refined, but super pretty and a fraction of the cost. It's super popular. This is her best fragrance and it's won awards this year and it deserves it. It's very good. I love this. This would be perfect for really like anybody in their teens upwards. It's just super versatile, sweet, and this is for somebody who does have a little bit of a sweet tooth. It's not gourmand. It doesn't taste like it doesn't smell like a dessert per se, but it is on the sweeter side. So keep in mind, this is for a lady who likes her sweet fragrances. Next, of course, a Chanel. Last year, I recommended Coco Mademoiselle. This year, it's Coco Noir, but you guys can never, ever, ever go wrong with a Chanel, and I keep saying it. And this is gonna be my scent of the day. I've decided. Because it is my current favorite from Chanel. This does open with a burst of citrus, but it settles. There's rose, clove, patchouli, and the typical beautiful Chanel quality that is in all of their fragrances. It has that noticeable Chanel take. So you have to like Chanel. This is quite sophisticated. I would say 30 plus, just based on my own experience and people that I know who love this, they're all usually my age or older, maybe a little bit younger, I'm 31. So hovering in and around that starting point and upwards because it is very elegant, very sophisticated and mature in a very modern, not outdated kind of way. Next, we have my Burberry blush. This is hands down my absolute favorite from the My Burberry collection. It's better than the original, it's better than the black. This is a really soft, slightly fruity, floral, musky, cozy, elegant, feminine fragrance that like at first sniff, it doesn't really strike you. It doesn't seem very striking, but there's something addictive about the scent that I want to keep on smelling. It's packaged beautifully as well. The way that I had this on my sweater the other day, I couldn't stop smelling my sweater because of how beautiful it smells. It smells very refined, even for a designer fragrance. It's a very understatedly classy, feminine fragrance. Very appropriate for the office as well. Very appropriate for every day and a very broad spectrum of women that this would appeal to like at any age this is very likable so that's three 
Number four, we have Paco Rabanne Olympia. I have the older bottle here. I also have the Olympia Aqua Leger, which I do prefer, but I got this for a steal and I think it's discontinued. If you can get this, I do prefer this because it's lighter and not as caramelly, a little bit more aquatic, a little bit more floral, which I personally prefer, but the original Olympia is gorgeous as well. And it's this rich, sexy, caramel, saltiness, it is a seductive, sexy, sexy fragrance. This is for a woman that is dressed to the nines to go out, hair done, lashes done, makeup done, nails done, everything. everything like this is very sexy, very going out, seductive, like you're out to get a man. You know what I mean? This is that kind of fragrance. Get this for your girl. Get this for your best friend. If you guys like to go out together and you're a girl and you want to get this for your best girlfriend, this is amazing. Super, super sexy. And yes, it gets hype, but it deserves it. And this is the only Paco Rabanne fragrance that really tickles my fancy. Number five, Dolce Gabbana. I have a flanker. This is called Love and Capri. It is discontinued. It is just a slightly different take, a little bit sweeter than the original light blue. You guys already probably know about this, so I'm not going to go too in-depth, but it is a beautiful, mass appealing, citrus, musky, sexy, fresh scent for women. Every woman loves this. I have yet to meet a woman who dislikes light blue. Even I like light blue, even though I know that it's so widely worn and known and popular. This is great for the gym, office. If you live in a warmer climate, this is a perfect everyday fragrance. I live in Canada. Unfortunately, it is frigid cold right now. So this is a no go, but so, so pretty. And yeah, again, wide range of ages this, this will appeal to even my friends that do not like fragrances like light blue and own a bottle and you can't go wrong with it. It's very likable. That being said, I know that a lot of people recommend the Dolce Gabbana light blue intense. I find the intense not wearable because it has a very sharp like astringent scent to it that doesn't go away and I think I'm sensitive to the aroma chemicals that are used in it to make it intense. Very sharp, very harsh. So keep that in mind if you're shopping for somebody. Yes, it may be longer lasting, but it does compromise the scent profile in my opinion. So just be careful because you may gift it to somebody who is sensitive to it like myself. If you're gifting, I would say go for the original or go for a flanker. There's Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Sun. Smells very similar. Any of the flankers really will do. Next, we have Lancome La Vie est Belle L'Eclat. This is the Eau de Toilette. The Parfum is perfect as well. And this is a more modern, sparkling, bright take on the original La Vie est Belle, which is so, so, so popular right now. Everyone's wearing it. Everybody knows it. Maybe they're not wearing it now, but they either own it or have been wearing it. And it is just a really popular fragrance. The L'Eclat, I prefer because it is a brighter, like I said, more sparkling take on it. It's easier to wear for me. The original gives me a headache. This one does not. The opening of this fragrance is absolutely heavenly. It is sweet, orange blossom, just delicious. And there's jasmine in here, which is stunning. I love this. It does not last as long. So I would say probably go for the Eau de Parfum. And this really just smells like a beautiful woman. So that would be a perfect gift as well. Number six is Bulgari Omnia Crystalline. And this is the Eau de Toilette, of course, because the Eau de Parfum is discontinued. This is another fresh fragrance, but this is a different take on fresh. This has like a, a sweet, sexy underlying muskiness to it. There's a little woodiness. There's lotus, bamboo. It smells fresh. It smells super clean. It smells like you just got out of the shower. This is a freshie with no citrus, which I love because mostly all freshies have citrus. Citrus is enjoyable up to a point, but at one point you get sick of it. I get sick of it. This everybody will love it just smells super clean like you just got out of the shower amazing again for the office amazing for just every day super easy perfect for the gym as well i would say and just a great day-to-day -day fragrance i don't think there's one person in the world that would actually dislike this it's it's a very likable scent and it's not boring it's actually very nice 
Next is Chanel Chance. I have the Ovive, which I love. This is citrusy. This is a citrusy freshie with florals. I had this on my jacket the other day and I couldn't stop smelling myself. It opens up with a fresh burst of citrus. Chanel Elegance, dry, pretty, but juicy as well. So it doesn't have a sweetness, but it has like that citrusy juiciness. Beautiful florals in here when it dries down. Any fragrance really from the Chance line would be great very fresh and it does last this is a fragrance that does last i got a good six seven hours i had it on fabric it lasted until the next day so of all the chances this is the more citrusy sparkling one the chanel chance au tendre is like a it's tender it's soft it's cozy it smells a little bit like mark jacobs daisy if you know that it's a little bit more kind of like a subdued fruity soft scent and then there's the Chanel Chance, the original, which is more patchouli, more elegant, a little bit more powdery. It's got that more of that Chanel sharpness. I also really enjoy that. That one, I would say, is the most mature of all of them, but they are all stunning. So really, you can't go wrong with any from the Chanel Chance line. Personally, I like the Eau Vive. It's rarely talked about, but it is my favorite. Now we're almost at the end. So this is number nine. We have YSL Libre. This is a newer release. I have the original and the intense. This fragrance is a clean, sexy vanilla with white florals. There's jasmine that really comes out on my skin. The dry down of this is absolutely to die for. I can't stop smelling my sweaters the next day after I've worn this fragrance. The lavender is creamy. It's not a sharp lavender. It's not the kind of lavender you would smell in aftershave or a men's cologne. It's very soft in here. And it is not like the smell is nothing like Mont Guerlain, which is also a vanilla lavender. This is for me, I'm getting a lot more of the white florals in this and it smells super clean. And it makes me think also of like a clean laundry, almost like fabric softener effect. But much more elegant and refined the intense would be for a lady who likes to dress up a little bit more maybe go out it smells boozier more vanilla more dense this is for somebody who likes a richer fragrance if you're trying to stay safe go for the original if you know the person and you know they like to go out and be loud and be bold and be sexy and like something richer and more vanilla dense go for the intense Number 10 is more or less an honorable mention, and this is Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom. This is very quickly becoming my favorite Jo Malone. I'll tell you guys right now, I would have included Woods Agent Sea Salt in this list, but because it doesn't perform, I had to be fair and I had to choose Mimosa and Cardamom because this does perform well on my skin. It really does. It is such a gorgeous floral. It's like a honeyed floral with some spice and warmth and this just smells like your favorite teacher from elementary school like your most favorite most beautiful teacher that you remember fondly this is what the smell makes me think of it's beautiful cozy warm great for the winter great for fall really an all-year rounder but i feel like it's more of a cooler weather scent because it is so comforting and that's what it is it's very comforting again good for anybody really but I would say probably 25 plus in my opinion. It does come beautifully packaged from Jo Malone. If you get it from a department store or a boutique, it comes in a beautiful bag. It comes in a beautiful box, so you don't have to worry about wrapping it. And it always comes with samples. You can order direct from Jo Malone as well. And yeah, I just love them. So if you're looking to splurge and get someone something extra special and fancy and a little bit like niche-esque i guess this would qualify as niche because they only do fragrances but it's i mean joe malone is is very well known at this point so i think it is kind of bordering designer so it's in my top 10. now we are at the end of the video so now it's time for me to tell you guys my personal favorite three and the three that i would want to receive as a gift if it were me getting the gift i guess i'll do this in order on number three we have Bulgari, Omnia, Crystalline, and yes, it is quickly becoming one of my favorite scents. I love it. I think it is so easy to wear. Of this list, yes, this one is super, super appealing to me. Next, on my number two, we have YSL Libre, and this was probably one of my most worn fragrances of the year. 
I just think it's absolutely stunning. I love the bottle. I love the scent. I love everything about it. So this is my number two. My number one, take a guess, you guys. Pause the video and take a guess. If you guys know me, you will know what my number one is. And it is, of course, Coco Noir, which I'm absolutely in love with. And it's a 10 out of 10 fragrance and absolutely stunning. These are my three top picks if I had to choose. My absolute favorites, my personal choices for if I was gifted them, if I didn't already have them, of course. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. That way you will never miss a new fragrance video. Make sure to also hit the notification bell and leave a comment with what you guys are going to be gifting someone. If you've already got a gift, let me know what you've already purchased. I'm always curious to hear what you guys are gifting, what you guys are buying. So make sure to leave that comment and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.